The tragic shooting has Gifford's colleagues from the House of Representatives shocked and saddened. CBS 11 Selena Hernandez has reaction, for, reaction from Congressman Joe Barton. We've never had somebody shot while they were holding a, a, a public event like this. It was a brazen act in the middle of a very public event. 40-year-old Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords was critically shot in the head while she met with her constituents in her Arizona district. She was just standing outside a grocery store. An attack you know, on a congressman or woman as they do their duties is an attack upon themselves. It's an attack on democracy. News of her attack has her political colleagues angered and upset to see how hot button issues can trigger such a violent reaction. You ought to be able to have interchange on ideas and then accept the outcome of, of the majority of opinion in terms of votes on the House floor uh, without wanting to, to do physical violence on people that you disagree with. Arizona police say 22-year-old Jared Lofter opened fire on the crowd gathered to see Giffords. 19 people were shot, six, including a nine-year-old child, died. Barton says it's rare any congressman or woman travels to events with a security detail, yet says in light of this unexpected tragedy, that could soon change. There are lots of things that we can do to try to m make people feel safe in coming to have interchange with us, but we can't retreat into some sort of a, uh, an office fortress mentality or take the other extreme and, and be, become so security conscious that people are afraid to come to our meetings. Selena Hernandez, CBS 11 News. Representatives and senators attend hundreds of public events every year, events with little evident security, like today's, where the public can get up close with these lawmakers. Members of the North Texas congressional delegation spoke with News 8, and Jonathan Betts is live in the Dallas newsroom. And Jonathan, I know heavy hearts there as well. Yes, yeah, certainly, Debbie. The shooting is being felt across the nation, and it's certainly in the country's capital, where late tonight the House of Representatives postponed a vote on repealing health care and is now urging urging its members to take precautions. It's part of the job of a politician to feel the love and the wrath Why of the public. You introduce and pass reform? But the shooting in Arizona shows just how vulnerable our elected officials can be. You're elected to represent the people and you cannot do that if you don't make yourself available to the people. I think it is a tragedy of the... Representative Joe Barton of Arlington has certainly stoked I anger in the past. Yet he, like most members of Congress, don't travel with security. He attends more than 500 public appearances a year. I think you'll see us take precautions to, you know, maybe have some officers there to, to watch the people and observe people as they come in. Capitol Police urged members of Congress to step up security following Saturday's shooting. But often it's left to the politician's discretion. Most travel alone or with one or two staff members and attend events where there's no security and where they often get face to face with the public. Clearly, I'm not going to get to everyone's question. At the large and sometimes heated health care town hall meetings of 2009, most did have local police on hand. If I have a public event, I know a large number of people are going to show up and be there. And, and yeah, I bear responsibility for their safety. Yet the event in Tucson was thought to be harmless and routine, leading many politicians to argue it's hard to prepare against something so seemingly random and cruel. You almost um, went into a state of suspense. You, you couldn't believe what you were reading. Um, you had just seen her. We had just been in a meeting together. While many members of Congress are considering making security changes for the short term, most agree today it will not discourage them from holding open meetings with the public. Live in the newsroom, Jonathan Betts, Channel 8 News.